This is McFly Angler. starts now. To start, we will need a curved shank scud hook like these 2457s from Risen Fly. Today, I am tying these in size 18. Place the hook securely in your vise. Start your thread right behind the hook eye and snip or snap off the waist. Then bring your thread down a ways into the bend of the hook. Now, I didn't film it, but the thread I am using is Vivas 6 Ot in olive. For the tail and wing case, we will need some mallard flank. For this olive color, I like the mallard flanks dyed in wood duck gold color. Natural for black or gray WD-40s. To prepare the feather, strip off all the fuzzies at the base of the feather, then separate a dozen or so fibers. Exact number isn't really important here, just make sure it's about this wide for this size hook. Align the tips of the fibers by stroking them straight out from the stem, and then rip them off at the stem. By the way, you could use actual wood duck flank here, but it's expensive, so dyed mallard flank works just fine. Okay, measure out the tips to about a hook gap length. Then tie this in so that length is sticking out the back of the fly. You really want to tie these deep into the bend. And this can be tricky to keep the fibers from rotating on you. Just keep stroking them straight out while tying. Now bring your thread up the hook shank all the way up to just shy of the eye of the hook. Then come down a little ways and back up a few times to create a nice tapered abdomen. End with your thread about a third of the way from the hook eye to the tail. Then pull back the mallard flank fibers and flatten them out the best that you can on top of the hook shank. And then tie these in with a couple tight wraps. Now we need some dubbing. Today I'm using Microfine Dry Dub from Hairline in BWO Olive. Pull out a small amount like so. You could really use any type of dubbing here, as long as it is a dry fly dubbing and rather fine. Dub this onto your thread and make a small dubbing ball to build the thorax of the fly. And with your thread just behind the hook eye. Now pull the mallard flank up and over the dubbing ball, trying to keep all the fibers aligned straight. It helps to smash this down a bit with your thumb to flatten out the fibers a bit. Now make a couple wraps to hold it into place. Bring your thread up to the hook eye and then back down and pull the mallard flank fibers rearward once again and tie them down like so. Then snip off the mallard flank as close as you can with some fine point scissors. Whip finish your fly and you're now done. Now to make this fly more durable, I like to use this UV resin by Solares. It's called Ultra Thin, and it's easy to apply with the brush applicator. It also soaks into the fibers quickly. Cure it with your UV light, and the fly is now finished. Well, there we have it, the WD-40. Probably one of the easier nymphs to tie, and it is super effective. Great for mimicking midge pupa and emerging betas. As you all know, I have gotten you all discounts from both www.risenfly.com and www.dooliesflyfishing.com. Dooley's offers great prices on all of the name brand fly tying materials, and Risen Fly manufactures their own hooks, rods, reels, and other gear for fly fishing. Their products are top quality, and best of all, they are priced very reasonably. Not only are the prices at these two shops great, but like I said, they are offering all of my subscribers a discount. So use McFly at checkout when ordering from either of these shops and you will get an additional 15% off of their already great prices. I wanna also thank all of my Patreons who support me. For as little as a dollar a month, you can help support this channel and also get some great perks like early access to my videos, participate in live streams, and more. So go to www.patreon.com forward slash McFly Angler to sign up today. I also thank all of you who share all my videos with your friends and your continued support by hitting the like buttons and subscribing. Thank you for making these videos possible. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.